Hello, it's Marlene here again from Growing My Own. This evening I'm in the kitchen again and today I'm going to be making some cabbage roll to put in the freezer. So I um, already boiled my edda carb cabbage. I have my ground beef cook up and season and I have the rice. I'm just going to combine these afterward. And for the sauce. I make this tomato sauce but I didn't season it so I'm gonna um, add some seasoning to this this I have garlic powder onion powder and some salt and I'm gonna add some um, Italian seasoning Just um, let this cook. For, excuse me. I'm just gonna let this cook for a while. While I'm waiting on the sauce to cook, I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hand. I mix this together because some of the rice are in clumps and you can just break it with my fingers. The filling is done so I'm just going to put this aside and start on the cabbage. Here it goes my first leaf. Goes my second leaf. I'm gonna continue doing this until I have enough to start wrapping. I'm just going to cut out the hard part of the cabbage. This we don't need. So I'm going to start cutting these now. Before I do that, I'm going to put some of the tomato sauce. The bottom. I'm going to bake some of them tonight. And put the rest in the freezer and bake. Cabbage roll number one. This is one of my favorite things to make. Whenever the supermarket have sale on large cabbage and Costco have sale on the five pound package of ground beef. I make a batch of this and put it in the freezer. So what I had in there, I used the last of it last week. So I'm just restocking up. These cabbage leaves are still so stiff. 
hard to fold. I put back some of the cabbage leaf in the hot water to soften them up some more. I guess I didn't put them long enough. I'm just gonna finish wrapping these and I'll be back. Just gonna put the rest of sauce on this and put this in the oven. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it in some file first. I just finished wrapping the last of the cabbage roll so I have two rolls in this these are going in the freezer and I have one set in the oven baking so when that finished baking and cool I'm also gonna put that in the freezer I'll use those first I use these next sometime in the summer these will be eaten so this is gonna be it for today Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Please comment and let me know what you think about this video. Please subscribe to my channel so you'll see what I'll be doing next from the garden. Thanks for watching. Bye.